so um, this is actually a site I'm getting less and less used to. Uh, not that many sm people smoke cigarettes anymore. Um, honestly, it's kind of an activity for, for the poorer folk. Let's be real here. Uh, poorer, more working class people smoke cigarettes. And, uh, honestly, I was pretty shocked when I was living in LA at how many people smoke cigarettes there. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, for real? Um, I was also, like, so not used to the cigarettes. I was just in Vegas and, like, people smoke a lot of cigarettes there. It's just, like, I mean, we're, we're advancing as a people, as a species, to not smoke. Because now, instead of smoking cigarettes, we smoke uh, vapes. I don't smoke nicotine vapes, okay? I don't do that. But anyway... Yeah, this is just something that I'm, like, less and less used to, is my point. But it's a thing. You know? It is a thing. And, um... I'm against smoking. I don't think that people should smoke. I don't like smoking. But, um... It really ain't going anywhere, right? Because we still have this shit. Um... Yeah. It's a lot of pollution. It's a lot of pollution. Pollutes you a lot. Uh, I think that more people have, like, eating issues than they care to admit. Because... Smoking... Suppresses your appetite. I think that's actually why a lot of people smoke. Believe it or not. I actually did smoke. For about... Maybe a year and a half. I don't think it was that long. I think it was more like nine months. I smoked for a period of time, okay, in college. Cause like, I had friends who did it. My really good friend did it. And that was just the thing. It also gives you a break. It gives you an opportunity to be outside. Like, if, especially if you're working somewhere stressful, like a fucking restaurant, right? You want an opportunity to go outside. Better yet, if it's not an opportunity, but a necessity. And people who smoke, that one wasn't ripe. Need their cigarettes. I just want to make sure to get the shot. Yes, okay. What else was I saying? They need their cigarettes. Oh, okay, let me tell you. I was, like, borderline addicted. I was, like, I was, like, towing the line. I really was. I was towing the line of being addicted and not being addicted and I was in a connecting flight I can't remember where exactly but I was in a connecting flight somewhere I think it was I want to say Vegas but it might have been might have been Denver airport I don't recall I was in a, an airport and I saw this gal I was like I was like 1920 okay and cigarette companies need to get people addicted. Let's see if I can get up. They need to get people addicted before age 21. Like, at or before age 21, because if you become addicted at or before age 21, you can quit, but you will never be um, more addicted in that time frame. You, like... That's why they really end so quickly. That's why Jewel reeled in teenagers so quickly is because those people will more than likely be lifelong nicotine users. See what I'm saying? And that's why now in New York, you can't buy cigarettes. In a lot of states, you can't buy cigarettes unless you're 21 or older. But I was saying something. Anyway, I saw this gal at um, this airport. And she was about my age. And she asked a staff member. She said... She was like, I could tell she was like losing her shit, okay? She was really struggling. She asked a staff member working there, she was like, Do you have a smoking deck? And the staff member was like, nope. 
and she, I could tell she was just not in a good place, like she was totally addicted, and I was like, that could be me, so I quit, quit cold turkey, um, anyway, I'm obsessed with whatever horse shit I'm addicted to at the moment, <sighs> luckily, smoking, smoking nicotine is not one of those things, bro, look at that.